Yo, what is going on ninjas? Logic here with a brand new Ninja video, baby. And today we have a special guest by the name of Pink Giratina. She's a gung-ho ambassador just like us, and she makes content on Ninjala and other games as well, like Apex Legends and Pokemon Masters. I think that's the name. But today, we're gonna be bringing you a video where we talk about Ninjala Strikers and just an overall guide and helpful tutorial on this new mode in order for you to be successful. So without wasting any more time, Let's get directly into the video, baby. Hey guys, it's your Pink Giratina here, and thank you Logic for inviting me to do this and enjoy the Shrek's video with you guys. And yeah, like Logic said, we're here to give you guys the cheats and the knows on how to prosper in Ninjala Strikers. If you don't already know about Ninjala Strikers, it's the new featured battle mode. Kind of like Release the Beast and the S-Blast battle mode, but with this mode, it takes a more enhanced change over everything and changes how Ninjala is played fundamentally. So we're gonna have Giratina kind of explain what this mode is all about. Thank you, Logic. And Ninjala Strikers is a soccer arena based game mode that two teams made up of four ninjas each battle to see who could make the most goals before the time is up. With that being said, today's video is a Ninjala Strikers tips and tricks video on how to be the best soccer player in Ninjala. Okay, so let's break down some weapons. First up is the Ninja Yo-Yo. Ninja Yo-Yo is going to be one of the weapons you want to use in this new Ninjala Strikers, mainly because it has Piercing Mixer, so it's already going to be super good just because of that. Some of the perks about the Ninja Yo-Yo are going to be its ability to teleport. It can really help you from closing that gap and being able to make a quick change. As far as the gumshot goes, the balloons are very slow and not always able to get to the ball, but this mode isn't just about being offensive and touching the ball. You can still use your balloons to attack enemy players and stop them from getting their hands on the ball. So use your gun balloons strategically and smart. And now Pink Giratina is gonna tell us about the Scrap Saber and the benefits to using it. A weapon that's really good for the jaw striker is the Scrap Saber. The Scrap Saber has the gum launcher of gum laser, which is really good for binding your foes and temporarily hindering them from moving, which gives your teammates an opportunity to score a goal. The special is the Froggy Block, which is awesome for blocking the ball or blocking the opponents from getting to the ball. It could be also used to stop the ball from going into goals and stuff to that nature. And the ultimate for the Scrap Saber is the Disco, which is very similar to the Potent Poison in which anyone caught in the radius or the area of effect of the ultimate will be temporarily hindered from moving. They'll be stuck dancing for about 10 to 15 seconds, which is more than enough time to get your teammates together to score a goal in the match. The Shino Buzz Paper Fan is also a very great pick for Ninja Striker. It's somewhat similar to the Scrap Saber with its gum launcher and its ninjutsu. So let me tell you guys what's the purse with this weapon. So its gum launcher is the same as the scrap saber, which is gum laser, which does you know the same thing. You want to combine the opponent the opponents and give your teammates an opportunity to score. The special it's the charge, the katana charge, which isn't the best for Ninja Striker. It doesn't make the ball go any significant amount of distance. I tried this many times just to see, and it doesn't really push the far the ball far. What it does is pretty much stop the ball from going anywhere. And lastly, the ninjutsu for the paper fan is the potent poison, which is somewhat similar to the disco where it emits a certain area of effect where anyone caught up in the circle of the, the stink dome <laughs> gets a certain amount of damage dealt to them over a, the course of seconds in there. So it's really good to get people away from the ball, you know, to spread out, to get away. And sometimes if people don't move, they actually die and you get, you know, a better advantage where you have a 3v4 situation where you could get to score the ball much easier. Last up is the Chewing V, one of the most game-changing and incredible weapons in Ninjala Strikers. Obviously, what makes this weapon really good are three things. Piercing Mixer, Froggy Block, and Gum Launcher. Piercing Mixer is just able to easily do whatever it wants and almost guarantee a goal every time you use it. Froggy block can be used offensively and defensively to either block the opponents from pushing your ball out or block opponents from scoring on you. This makes froggy block incredibly awesome and unique to use because it can be a real game changer and keep your foes on their toes. Gum launcher is also a really good gum shot to have as well because it recharges fast and you're able to dictate the direction of the ball easily. 
You can also use Gumshot to stop the opposing team from doing whatever they want to do and just make it a hassle for them. Gum Launcher will always be a good addition to a kit. That's going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our guest by the name of Pink Giratina. Please, please do check out her channel. She does awesome Ninjala content, Apex stuff, and Pokemon. Who doesn't like Pokemon? <laughs> And I'll post links to all her socials down below. But big shout out to Logic for inviting me to this video with him. It was such a pleasure. I hope you guys did find this video very useful. Like he said, definitely check out the YouTube, the Twitch. I stream the Jala on YouTube and Twitch. Mostly YouTube. I Twitch sometimes. I love Apex Legends. So if you guys are into competitive multiplayer gameplay, definitely check that out. And I also play Pokemon, but right now we're in a dry spell. So don't worry. Sinner Remix, Arceus game. We'll be there. And Splatoon. I also play Splatoon. Splatoon, I'm a god. Definitely check me out. But thank you guys so much. With that being said, if you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up as it really helps your boy out. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do check it out. Also, if you don't already know the Pink Giratina, go show her some love as well. Go like up her videos. Go subscribe to her channel. Just do all that. All that good stuff. Um, it just really helps us out. And we would really appreciate it. She's awesome. You know, you guys are awesome. We're all awesome. <laughs> With that being said, this has been Logic, and I'll see you in the next chapter. <laughs>